Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to take a raw PLA helmet print and prep it for painting. This is a print of Sabine's new helmet in the Ahsoka TV show. It was printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height on the Creality CR10, and I will link the model down in the description for you. To start off, let's just address what exactly we're taking care of here. The main thing, of course, is filling and smoothing all the layer lines so that our paint goes on nice and smooth. We also have some support remnant roughness on the bottom edge, terracing towards the top, which is completely normal where the layers start to become more horizontal. And the Z seam was not randomized on this print, so we have this distinctive ridge that we have to take care of. There was also a slight nozzle clog that you can see in the nose area. So yeah, there's a lot of things that need to be smoothed down before we can even think about paint. The first thing I'm going to do is just take a file and knock down that Z-seam ridge. I'm also filing down the support remnants on the bottom edge. You might also have some roughness inside the visor cutout. Once those areas are filed down and a little bit smoother, I'm taking out my electric sander and a 120 grit sanding pad. I'm just giving the whole helmet one quick once over. Try not to stay in any one place too long, you definitely don't want to start to melt the plastic with the friction. The goal here is not really to smooth down the print, but just to knock down some of the high points of the layer lines. In areas where you have these crisp lines and dips, I'm just going in by hand with sandpaper to avoid accidentally rounding out any details that we want to preserve. After that's all done, I'm just mixing up some DAP plastic wood. This is a wood filler. You can also use Bondo for this, and I actually have a video on my page explaining the pros and cons of each, but for this particular helmet, I'm using wood filler. I'm mixing that up with about half the amount of acetone until it's a sort of melted ice cream consistency. Brush that mixture onto your helmet with a paintbrush. What the acetone does is it thins the wood filler to help it sink down between the layer lines better. It also makes the whole thing dry really fast, so you can build up multiple coats very quickly if you need to in certain areas. I always try to go horizontal with the layer lines and this just helps it sink in much better. As you can see, this helmet has a channel on the inner cheek where some of the wood filler got in, so what I like to do is just use an auto detailing tool to remove it. You can also use a needle, toothpick, anything else you have on hand. The helmet should take less than 30 minutes to dry, which is another benefit of the acetone. Once it's dry, I'm taking it outside to sand again. This time I'm using a finer grit. I'm going with 240. You really don't want to sand down too hard here. Just try to get the wood filler as thin as possible without going to the point where the layer lines reappear. After that step, the helmet should look something like this. If you accidentally sanded down too much or there's still problem areas, you can go back in with more wood filler, but I think mine is pretty good. So what I'm doing here is just lining the inside with some paper so that the spray filler in the next step doesn't get all inside the openings and in the bottom. Then I'm just trimming the paper a little bit so it's a little bit more tidy. I just like to put the helmet on an old fabric roll. And the spray that I'm using is the Rust-Oleum Auto Primer. Some people really don't like this product, but I always get good results. I recently learned that Rust-Oleum has a slightly different formula for this depending on the country, so I don't know, maybe that's why it doesn't work for some people. But I just recommend testing and seeing what brands you like for yourself the best. I'm just giving the whole helmet one nice coat. I like to go thin and just take my time going around the helmet, making sure it's covering all over. And after that auto primer is dry, the helmet is pretty much ready for paint. I'm really satisfied with the level of smoothness that I got. And this whole process only took a few hours, so this is a really doable way to quickly take a helmet from the print bed to this stage. As you can see, I didn't really pay too much attention to smoothing the inside of the ears, because the ear prints are going to be glued over top anyways. That part is totally up to you though. So yeah, now this helmet is ready for paint and I really hope this video was helpful. Happy crafting!